Hello students, my name is Dr. Gajendra Purohit. If you are pursuing BSc B.Tech or you are preparing for any competitive exam where higher mathematics is asked, our YouTube channel is very helpful for you all. I will discuss numerical integration in numerical analysis. We are going to see Weddell's rule. Earlier we saw tripositive rule, Simpson's 1 by 3rd rule and 3 by 8 rule. In today's class, I am going to show you how we should apply the Weddell's rule and how we can integrate any function with the help of this rule. Normally, I want to say that whenever we talk about numerical integration, we divide the limit into intervals, while in tripositive rule, there is no condition. You can divide intervals as you like. In Simpson's one-third rule, we divide in multiples of two, while in Simpson's three by eight rule, we divide in multiples of three, and in Weddell's rule, it is done in multiples of six. I am going to discuss all these topics here, and we will do some questions by this formula. Let's get started, students. Let's talk about numerical integration. Let's understand what is Weddell's rule. So here we have this formula from x0, 2x0 plus nh. This is nh and then this y dx is equal to. We will get 3h by 10. Clear students. Normally, we have h by 3 in Simpson's one third rule, h by 8 in 3 by 8. And in Weddell's rule, it's 3h by 10. Remembering this formula may be a bit difficult for you. So, I am telling you something, remember this 15, 16, 15, 25. If you remember this then, the formula will be very easy for you. I hope that you get my point. This means that the coefficient of y0 is 1. And here, as you can see on the screen, y1 coefficient is 5, while y2 coefficient is 1, and y3 coefficient is 6. Right, students? I hope you are getting my point. Now, see this carefully. The coefficient for y4 here will be 1, right? And the coefficient of y5 is also 5, right? Whereas the coefficient of y6 is 2, okay? In this, the coefficient of y7 is 5 and so on, but normally we have multiples of 6. Now we have used this formula, so either we can take 6 or 12. I hope you can see this. Usually the questions in the exam are asked up to 6. It's not usually asked till 12. Next, listen students, I want to tell you one more thing that the tripositive rule gives correct answer in the linear equation. It gives accurate answer. There is no error. Here exact and approximate values are same. If you don't know about this then, you can see my previous videos that was on tripositive rule. Similarly, the one third, the quadratic equation, which is a two degree polynomial, its answer comes correct. Let's talk about Simpson 3 by 8 formula. So, in this formula, if we have any cubic polynomial here and if we do the integration of that, then there is absolutely no error. That means there the exact and the approximate value are same. Thus, in the Weddell's rule, we have a sixth degree polynomial here and its answer comes perfect if we use the formula. If we have been given a six degree polynomial and a limit of integration is given and if we solve it using this formula or we can do another thing which is we can use integration and solve it and get the true value. The answer will be same and try not to forget the formula since it's a typical formula. Okay, students, if you remember it this way, then you can understand it very easily. The question says use Weddell's rule to evaluate dx upon 4x plus 5 while the limit is given from 0 to 5. Okay. Now, what should we do here? When we have a question of this type, we divide this into six intervals and what will be the method then? h is equal to the upper limit minus the lower limit divided by 6. So, listen, the h that we get will be 5 by 6. Next, students, if we are talking about, here we have x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, and x6 and x0 as it will start from 0, right? In 0, if we add 5 by 6, then we get 5 by 6. If we add it again, we will get 10 by 6. And if we add again, we get 15 by 6. Then if we add again, we will get 20 by 6. And if we add it again, we will get 25 by 6. Then if we add it one more time, we get 30 by 6. That is equal to 5. Now, what are we going to do with all these values? Listen here, y is 1 upon 4x plus 5. Hence, the value of y0 will be 1 and wherever we have x, we will put 0 there. Then this will be 1 by 5. Similarly, if we calculate y1, then it will be 1 by, and this will be 1 by 4 into 5 by 6 plus 5. We will simplify this and from here, what will be the value that we will get will be 0.12 and this will be 0.2. Therefore, in the same way, if we keep 10 by 6 here in place of x, the value we get here will be 0 0.0857. Whereas, if we pick this 15 by 6 and place it here, then we will get y3 as 0 0.0666. Right, students? If we put 20 by 6 here, 
then the value we get here will be 0 0.0545. In the same way, if we talk about y5, then this will be 25 by 6. Hence, the value will be 0 0.04615. Similarly, when we see y6, we take 5 and put it there and the value will be 0 0.04, right? Furthermore, I told you how to remember the Weddell's formula. The way to remember this is we have 0 to 5 and y dx here. I told you to remember this because this is important. Clear students? This will be 15, 16, 15 and 25. So, normally we have till 25, but here we have to write it till 6. You have to remember this much 15, 16 and 2. While you can also remember 25. Therefore, you can remember the flow easily. This will be 3h by 10 and y0 plus 5y1, whereas this will be 15, okay? Next here, we will have y2 plus 6y3. I hope you get it. And here, we will have y4 plus 5y5. Then, finally, we will get 2y6 as the value, okay? Put all these here, it will be 3. While the value of h here will be, how much will it be? It will be 5 by 6 and this will become 5 by 6 by 10, right? I hope you are following me. And y0 and the value of y0 will be 0, 0.2 plus 5 into y1. Hence, this will be 0, 0.12 plus y2 and this will be 0, 0.0857. Then plus this will be 6y3 0 0.00666, right students? Plus students here we will get y4 and the value of y4 will be 0, 0.0. 545 and plus 5y5. Hence, it will be plus 5 into 0 0.04615. Now, plus we have 2 into 0 0.04. And when we simplify it here with the help of calculator, brackets closed. Therefore, the value here will be 0 0.41097 and this will come as its integration value. Thus, as you can see, we can easily find its value here. Next, this is 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square. You are asked to evaluate its value using Weddell's rule. First, we have to find the value of h. What is h? The upper limit minus lower limit divided by 6. So, this will be 1. We have the value of x 0 and we have to add 1 to each of them. Hence, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, the value of y will be 1 by 1 plus x square. If we put 0, we will get x is equal to 1 and if we put 1, we will get 1 by 0.5. If we put 2, then 1 by 0.2, right? When 3 is put, it will be 1 by 10, that is 0 0.1. When 4 is put, it will be 16 and 1, 17, so 1 by 17. If we keep 5, then 1 and 1 plus 25, it will be 26. If we keep 6, it will be 36 and plus 1 will be 37. Hence, we will have y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 or y6, okay? Now, as I told you earlier, 15, 16, 15, 25. So, remember this 15, 16, 15, 25. Remember the formula this way. I hope you get this. In exam, you will be asked to use the Weddell's rule to find the value of this integration, right? And you have to use this only when you are asked in the exam. Therefore, we will have here 0, 2, 6 and dx upon 1 plus x square and this will give 3h by 10, okay? I hope you are understanding this formula here. Then what we will have here students, we will have y0 plus 5y1 plus, we will have y2 plus 6y3, right? Plus this will be y4 plus 5y5 plus 2y6. So this will be the value, right? Because we have to take till 6 only, clear? Put all the values now and we have h as 1, this will be 3 by 10. The value of y0 will be 1 plus 5 into 0.5, right? Then here we will have plus it will be 0.2 plus 6 into 0 0.1 plus 0 0.058 plus 5 into 0 0.0384 will come. Clear students? Plus 2 into 0 0.027. So, this will be our value, right? If we solve this using a calculator, the answer will be 1.3735. Therefore, this will be the answer after solving it in calculator. I hope you get this point. Hence, this way you can easily do this here. This is a question for the comment box and how much time did it take you to solve it? Please make sure to comment and let me know. Next, I will bring before you how we can extract roots of any equation given to us. We have many methods for that like newton raphson method, iteration method and second method is also there. Bisection method is there, regular falsi method is there. So, all these methods, I will discuss them one by one in upcoming videos. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. Please do it. It won't cost you anything. Thank you.